Well, hello and welcome to this week's video. As you can see, we've come up to Scotland and Castle Stalkers in the background there. The clouds looking really interesting in the background. It's really sort of grey, but it's really moody looking. So we're getting some interesting shots, I think. Now, although the sky is quite dark and moody, the problem is it's still really quite bright. We're getting a lot of sun coming down from above here, so it's really quite bright. So I've tried putting a six stop filter on just to take the light down a bit. And I'm getting like about a quarter of a second shutter speed at that and it's looking all right. And I think so far today we've had the best light we've had so far since I've come up to Scotland. And although it's not great, it's a lot better. It's dry at least. There's a little bit of a breeze to keep the midges away. So all in all, it's feeling a lot better today than it was yesterday. Now last night we went to a church just down the road from us which, which was covered in bluebells. It was really, really nice. Really nice looking scene, but God, the midges were horrendous. We were getting eaten alive. So I took back to it, back into the van to be honest. I couldn't take any more of it. We had head nets on and everything, but we're still getting completely eaten. So we've moved on and we've come to uh, Island Donald Castle and it really looks spectacular tonight. Absolutely awesome. So what I'm trying to do with this one is basically I'm using a six stop uh, ND filter just to try and smooth out the water as much as possible. There's not a great deal of interest in the sky because I don't think light's going to happen tonight so we're kind of holding off and waiting to see if uh, blue hour's going to hit later and see if it's a bit better then. But there's really moody s uh, clouds in the skies so I think that always helps anyway.
So my current settings are, I've, uh, because I've got the six stop filter on, I've got a 10 second shutter speed. It's uh, f11 and ISO 50. And I think the image is going to come out pretty nice. And if it does, I'll put it up now. So with this I'm mainly doing it in landscape mode at the minute because I want to try and get the whole of the bridge in. I think the bridge and the hills in the background really make this shot. So I've tried it in landscape mode and as I say I've put those shots up now and what I'll try is now a shot in portrait mode and try and just focus in more on the castle itself and see how that turns out. Now I'm up here this week with Adam Gibbs and Gavin Hardcastle and uh, Gavin's up doing a workshop so uh, me and Adam have just been going around various places just scouting them out and seeing what's going to work the weather hasn't been great so we're just trying to find waterfalls and just basically en route to the different areas we're just seeing if there's anything that takes our fancy on the way past Right, give me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll leave the video here for now. If you've liked the content, please like and subscribe. Join me on Facebook at Paul Thompson Photography. Join me on Instagram at Paul Thompson Photography. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.